for YouTubers, I'm here with the amazing Danielle Collins, the world's leading face yoga expert. And I'm here with Roxy Shahidi, TV actress, celeb and all round amazing yogi. And we're super excited to be bringing you Fabulous in 5. And Fabulous in 5 is about looking and feeling the very best version of yourself in just 5 moves a day. So if Danielle is new to you and you want to get a little bit more of her work, check her out at... And check Roxy out at... Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Hi. And we're going to just start off by lying down onto our back. So if you come down, so your feet are flat onto the floor and you're just gonna tuck your chin in towards your chest. Just relax your shoulders down. You can close your eyes if you like for a moment. Just engage the lower abdominals here. So pull up and in. And then as you breathe in, just allow your rib cage to expand out to the side. And as you breathe out, just allow your rib cage to come back in. But you want to try and maintain that lower abdominal area pulled up and in all the way through the movements. So just bring the hands behind the back of the neck now. Just open out the chest and then just bring one knee up towards the chest. Bring opposite knee, opposite elbow to knee and then we're just going to swap. And we're just going to keep going, extending out one leg and then the other leg and really pull that lower abdominal area up and in there. So we're working through the side of the waist, we're working through the front of the abdominals here and also great for toning the legs. How's it feeling Roxy? Yeah, it's feeling good. I like to really try and press my lower back into the mat in these yeah. ones. So there's no space in between your lower back and the mat and it really forces you to use the abdominals. Yeah. Definitely, that's so important. You shouldn't feel the strain in your lower back at all whilst doing these movements. It should be all in the tummy. If your back or your neck does strain, take a rest for a moment, come back up, engage your abdominals, and just try it again. But never push through any pain. Okay, let's just do three more each side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one and let's just relax down for a moment just hug your knees in just take a moment to gently stretch the back and then just extend one leg out but keep one knee hugged in and just wrap the fingers around the front of the knee try and hover that flat leg a little bit up off the floor lift up your head neck and chest engage your abdominals don't strain your neck here and then we're swapping legs and bring the hands over to the other side and then swapping again and every time you extend the leg just try and hover it a little bit up above the floor here so as you breathe in feel your rib cage expand and as you breathe out feel rib cage move back in and keep pulling that lower abdominal area up and in never done this one before have you not i love it it's such, the nice thing about Pilates movements is you're working really, really deeply, but you're doing it quite slowly as well. So every movement's nice and controlled. And all very, very good for the core. So a lot of Pilates is based around the core. Okay, so let's just keep that going a little bit longer. Let's do three more each side. So we're going to do six, five, four, three two and one and hug your knees back in again now if the back of the neck feels uncomfortable just roll it from side to side a little bit here as you breathe and rest you starting to feel the burn in your tummy yeah definitely Good. It feels great really working no it's amazing okay so we're just going to make it a little bit more challenging again now so we're just going to extend one leg up just grab hold of the back of the leg extend the other leg out have it up above the floor so about a foot off the floor lift up your head neck and chest and you're going to do leg swaps again so literally pulling in one leg and then the other just try and breathe nice and deeply here and the way you pull your abdominals up and in is almost imagine you're zipping up tight trousers. So you know that sensation of pulling up the lower abdominals? Well, that's what we're looking for. So this is great for toning the legs as well as the tummy. Now, if your neck is straining, take a rest for a moment and then come back up. But if it's not, just keep this going. The six five four three two 
one hug the knees in and relax and just roll from side to side just to massage the lower part of the spine I love this rolling one, don't you, Roxy? It just releases. Yeah, really in the rest. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so then just grab the back of your knees here, engage your core, roll yourself up to sitting, and then we're going to come to a high plank position. So hands are going to come directly under the shoulders. You're going to tuck the toes under and you're going to come up into a high plank. Really engage your abdominals here. And we're going to do some leg lifts. So we're going to lift one foot a little bit up off the floor. It doesn't need to be too high and then lower. And then the other one and lower. Just keep this going up and down. Pull those tummy muscles up and in. And we're going to do six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whole plank for one full breath. Then lower down and extend the legs out. Come down onto your tummy. Palms and forearms onto the floor. Forehead down onto the mat. Shoulders roll back here. And just bring your forehead right down to give you a little break, a little rest for a full breath. And then when you're ready, just lift up your head, neck and chest and lift the hands and the arms up off the floor. Feel the shoulders roll down the back and then lower back down. And just keep this going up and down gently. Maybe when people do little core workouts, they always forget the spine. So this is such a good one. Such, such a good one. Oh, it's so good. And that's the lovely thing about a lot of Pilates moves. They really do work on strengthening, but almost in a rehabilitation type of way. So very gently, very controlled. And then you can just advance this a little bit by squeezing the legs together, engage the glutes and lift the legs up off the floor as well here and lower down. And just using the breath if you can. So if possible, you're going to exhale as you come up and pull the tummy away from the floor and then inhale, lower back down. How are you feeling, Roxy? Yeah, it's great. Good. It's relaxed. I know, it's nice and relaxing, but still working at the same time, which is always good. Let's do four more of these. Inhale down, exhale up, pull the tummy muscles up and in. Good, two more. One more time. And then just put one arm on top of the other, forehead onto the top arm. Just let your ankles roll out to the side a little bit and just take a nice deep breath there. And then to come out of the movement, place the hands onto the mat, engage the core, come up onto the knees and then bring yourself back to your sitting position. And that's completed your five moves to tone the tummy.